Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Ron Line Report. Great guest today. She is your new Bikini Olympia champion. A couple weeks, she's hoping to become the Bikini International champion at the Arnold Sports Festival <laughs> and brand new muscle tech athlete. Please welcome Maureen Blanquisco. How are you, Maureen? Hi, guys. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're very, very welcome. So uh, I don't have a lot of information on you. There's not a lot of background. So let's learn a little no. bit about you. I know you were born in the Philippines. Um, what kind of kid were you? Were you athletic or did you have other kinds of hobbies? I was really, really athletic. Um, I used to compete. Uh, when I was in elementary in the Philippines, I studied elementary there. So I, co I used to compete for a swimming team. It's a Dominican college. It's a, it's a school for elementary school. We compete um, in swimming. And then I also did BJJ. I did gymnastics here in Norway. I, in Norway, actually, after I moved, because I was raised in Norway. So I feel like I've always just need to do something, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like my parents didn't had to like force me. I feel like I forced my parents to, you know, hey, take me in here, you know. Yeah. So how old were you when you moved to Norway? I moved uh, 13. Okay. Yeah. That's and then how old were you when you moved Half, to the U.S.? Um, three years ago, 2019 Olympia. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to tell. You look like you could be about 20 years old. Can I ask how old you actually are? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm flattered. Actually, in fact, I'm turning 30 next week. Still, still a very, very young woman, <laughs> believe me. So, yeah, let's see. You have six pro wins already, but how did you get into – obviously, you're very athletic. You, you're in athletic condition anyway – how did you get beyond that into weight training and how did you discover bikini competition? This is a very interesting story, actually, because I I like to compete. I like to perform. I usually call it performance than competing. So I did swimming, which means it all depending on me. If I want to win, it all depends on me. So I was like, that's great because I don't I don't like depending on a team. Because I get very, very, you know, um, I'm a very competitive person. So if I lose because of my team, I'll get really frustrated. So after I moved to Norway, I re um, all my friends went to gymnastic cheerleading, actually. So I was like, you know, I'm going to try this out. And I tried it out. It went really good. And then, you know, there is one time we fall on the stunts, which is not even my fault. So I'm like, I think I work better alone. Mm -hmm. so and I started lifting weights and you know back then I was probably like around 18 yep. you know those are the time where you want to look good you want to feel good you know you want to start arranging I started putting makeup and I'm like you know what I'm doing fitness anyways so maybe I'll try to find something that will fit this mm -hmm. something I gotta do something yeah and then I was watching YouTube I wanted to compete in a beauty pageant, actually, but I was too short. Oh, I didn't know they had a height requirement. <laughs> yes, they have. I, I'm five feet tall, so I'm very, very short. So I, I saw this video in YouTube, Olympia, actually. That was my first oh. Olympia. Like I was like, oh, I want to compete there. And then I saw India Paulino. She mm. is my very first idol, actually. Wow. So I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Um, they look amazing. They're that is the closest to beauty pageant I could be. Yeah. So let me try. I wanna compete there. And I was like, I didn't know competing in Olympia, you have to win your pro card, you you know, you have to qualify. It's like a long process. But in my head, I only have one goal, and one goal only is to go to Olympia. Mm, wow. <laughs> so, so that's the goal. Yeah, so what year did you first did you just do a local show and you were in Norway at the time when you started competing? Um back then it's it's very different actually in Europe because it's like so you have to do the regional first and go to nationals and go to, and then after nationals you are allowed to get outside the country because there's no pro cards in Norway back then. So you have to go outside, you know, Europe. And I got my pro card in San Marino Pro, which oh, is in Italy, yeah. 2015. Oh, wow. So it's really different because back then it was, you know, by height too. It's like classes A, B, C. But then there we have like, you know, 155 centimeter. And, you know, it's like it's 
pretty much like seven classes okay. in Europe. And you need to win your class and you need to win the overall to get the pro card. Not easy. Hmm. It's really hard. And um, I wasn't really thinking on pro card then because I didn't know that I need to get a pro card to compete for the Olympia. Oh, yeah. well, what would you have known unless you know you were in this world and talked to people? When, <laughs> yeah, so when I got the pro card and they're like, oh my God, you can you can go, you know, you're a pro. And I'm like, what is that? Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So I, I thought you'd, be, I, I didn't realize you've been a pro for that long. Cause you know, I've only, I only became aware of you when you started competing at the Olympia, which I believe was 2019, your first Olympia. Yes. Yeah. But I, mean, I don't really compete a lot. I, in fact, I only, my body can only take three shows max. I did four. That's, that was 2019. My body just didn't respond. It. So, you know, I know my limit, so I don't usually compete a lot. And being in Europe, I only competed in Europe then. So probably that's why I wasn't, you know, people doesn't really know me. Yeah. So three years you've been in the U.S. What made you decide to move from Norway to, uh, you're in California now? Yes. I, I met my partner in Olympia. Oh, okay. Yes. In Olympia, meet and greet, actually. So we just, you know, everything went just perfect. And then we just decided to move in. And three years after, I'm still here. <laughs> And you train at the Mecca, which is, it's still the Mecca. I don't care what anybody says. Go yeah, no, it's still the Mecca. They still come there. Even though, you know, there's not so many pros who train there anymore. The spirits is still there. You know, like the pictures are still there. The machines are still there. It's still the Mecca. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was there a few years ago. I, I, I lived out there for a long time, but it's, you still, when you walk in there, that atmosphere Yes. It's, it's never going to change. It's always going to be the Mecca. But so let's see. So 2019, your first Olympia and you had a, that was your last of four shows. So you're a little burnt out. You still made the top 10, ninth place. Yeah, I was surprised. Trust me, <laughs> I was very surprised. So you, it looks like you skipped the Olympia during the first COVID year, 2020. Okay. Is that right? Yes, yeah. actually, they, I was prepping then and then they canceled two of my show and I was two weeks out. That was a so tough I was year. like. I didn't want to sabotage my body for the whole year just to see if they're going to do the show. I was like, after they canceled the first show, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do an improvement season and then come back stronger next, you know, in 2020. Okay. So let's see, uh, you come back in 2021 and now you're top four in the world at the Olympia 2022. I was there. I'm here in Boston. You won the Boston Pro, correct? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. You're wearing a gym hub, actually, aren't you? That's right. I, <laughs> I wow, look see. at you. Yeah, I have the same shirt. <laughs> did, were you in, did you and your partner work out there a few times? Yes, we did, okay. actually. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I thought I remembered some pictures of you and Nate. Was Were you there with Cutler and Urs and all that? Yes, Jose? yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, gym hub, great gym. So Nate's my boy. Great. Nate is great, too. So, yeah, interesting. You made that when you did your victory speech. You, know, you you said you felt like you were going to win the uh, title eventually, but you didn't know it was going to happen that quickly. And I mean, I don't think it was a, it was that big of a surprise to everyone else up there because you know we'd seen you in these shows and you it was obvious that you were you were going up 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 every every year. Um, but why were you surprised? Is just because the caliber competition you were up against was it sixty women this this past time? It was fifty four girls. That's the That's biggest. True. That's the biggest um, lineup in the history of bikini in Olympia, actually. You yeah. know, when I was in the backstage, I felt like it was never stopping. <laughs> it was never, it's never ending, right? Before. So, but I, I was surprised because, you know, we, we all have our favorites, you know, we all have our predictions and I felt like, you know, I'm new. I mean, for me, I'm still new. I'm still like, kind of like, for me, I like to baby steps. I have a very realistic expectations about myself. So placing top four last, you know, two years ago, for me, that was already like winning. From nine to four, it was like, I won. I was so happy. So after like last year, I was, I was, um, I was aiming for top three, actually. I told myself if I place third, I'll be just like happy. Like I'm, I'm like beyond. So I wasn't expecting when they called like um, the third place. And then I was like, whoa, whoa, that's it. You know, like I actually have a chance. So I was surprised. Yeah. But I mean, I, honestly, I've, I've said this many times. Your division is the one I don't think I could judge because once you get to the top five, I wouldn't be able to place 
I'd say it's a five-way tie. You know, I'm looking at anybody you. in that's true. Anybody in top five could be a winner, one hundred percent. You looked yeah. amazing. Jennifer's story still looked amazing. Exactly. Ashley still looked great. I mean, I yeah. that's why the judges, God bless them. I don't know how they do it, but um, I know, right? <laughs> and it was fifty-four girls. So imagine sitting there watching us one by one. That's credits to the judges because that's really hard. Yeah. That's exhausting. Now, this is a tough question because it's hard. To, I don't want it's hard. It's hard, hard for some people to praise themselves. But how do you think you pulled off the win? Because it was very close. And Jennifer looked amazing. How do you, did the judges? Did anyone ever say what made the critical difference in the end? Honestly, I don't I don't even know. Like I'm, because every time I step the stage. Like as competitor, we tend to look at each other, you know, but every time I step like the stage, I don't. I always forget to look at everybody. I just really don't look at them. Not because I try not to. It is I don't. Yeah. So well, once I step the stage, I go back to my hotel and then I can watch what's up. Like where did they put me? Or, you know, I just I just I honestly don't know. But I feel like for me, I felt like I came in um better than ever. I think that's like the judges notice that when you know when you just keep improving yeah. because I look way different than the last Olympia, like last 2000. It was so different that they could see the difference. Yeah. And I was just so chill. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was, I came to the stage. I was just like, I got this, you know, I was just so chill. I guess they saw that. I don't know. So, you know what you, you did make these improvements. What do you attribute that to? Was it a new training program, new coach, new nutrition program, a combination of all those things? I think it's the new um, protocol because um, I've always looked good, but we never really nailed the peak week. Mm -hmm. That was always been my problem since 2019, the peak week. It's just we never really get that fullness. And I think this Olympia, we we finally get my body. Um, I moved coach. I started working with Espin, Francisco Espin from Spain, actually. Wow. He doesn't have any bikini. He has no, like, I'm the only bikini that he, you know. For me, um, I look for the coaches who have their, their athletes, like, really good condition. Mm. Because body shape, you can do that. But condition, it's a little more tricky. So after I saw his work with my partner and I was like, oh, wow, you know, like that's that's incredible approach. Let me try that because I won't lose anything anyways. I always come in flat. Might as well just maybe change this one, yeah. which it did work out. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy. I. <laughs> well, I'm curious, the Arnold Classic, it's only 10, week, 10 weeks between the shows, the Olympia and the Arnold. I keep calling it the Arnold Classic. In your case, it's the Bikini International. You know, what made you decide? Did you already know before the Olympia that you that you wanted to do the uh, Bikini International? Um, I, I always wanted to do the International. I, In fact, I did mine last year and I placed second from in my first Bikini International, which is wow. for me, it was already winning, honestly. <laughs> but then, you know, after winning the Olympia, I already signed the contract. So I already got that, you know, and it's not really, it's, it's complicated because it's far yet so close, right? Mm, yeah. But I already signed and I'm already lean. Might as well do it. And I would love, to, you know, I would love to try to get the title too. That would be nice, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, both. If you, you'd have the two biggest titles in the sport. Um, that would be great. Yeah, because 10 weeks, it's on top of, I'm assuming, did you prepare 16 or more weeks for the Olympia? Um, I started, honestly, I started... After I after I won the Boston Pro, that was eight months ago. I mean, I wasn't. The thing is, this this was the most chill prep I've ever had because I was eating clean, but I was eating more. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really get off the diet, but also I was eating more calories. I have one cheat meal a week, so I don't really feel you know I'm on off on season. Yeah. So I think that's the best approach to me: longer prep, but you know, more food. Yeah. How much does your weight really change off season to, to contest? Not much. Five pounds. Wow. So what are you on stage? About a hundred pounds? No, I'm on like 109 or 110. I mean, that's not that much more, but 
Yeah. <laughs> it's not crazy, new, but you know. <laughs> not crazy. Yeah, because man, you're it's it's gonna be a rematch again. You have Jennifer and Ashley, they're doing the show too. So it's gonna be interesting because it's it's a lot of the same judges, but you know, any of these shows, it's any given day, anybody can anybody can win, anybody can lose. Yeah. You know, you've never been in this position where you're the uh, Olympia champion. Do you feel more pressure to win this than maybe if you weren't uh, already the best in the world or or does it does not make a difference to you? I actually got this question a lot. Honestly, I have this my I have a different kind of mindset. I don't know if it's different or not, but my only goal or my my the best goal I have was to win the title. Mm. So, I felt like it was more pressure then than now I feel like now I can actually hustle the same but I can actually enjoy the you know the ride because I already got my you know I got my goal already so now I'm just gonna enjoy being Miss Olympia and you know like just enjoy the competitive you know world so I felt like I, I felt almost felt like relieved you know <laughs> I bet yeah so, so the, the big news is Muscle Tech they're back on the scene they're they were I don't know you're not old enough to remember when they were they had everybody under contract, the whole sport, the, all the yes. top pros. Yes. I, I think they, it seems like that's what they're trying to go back in that direction because they, they've signed you, the Olympia champion. They got blessing. And I, I heard a little rumor. There's some more people soon. They're going to make oh, announcements. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, in fact, you know, it was like, it wasn't planned at all. It was like kind of blessing in disguise because I was training in golds and I, I was re I'm really close friend with blessings I've been working with him with another company back in I don't know 2015 we went to Shanghai together we went to Barcelona together so I felt like I knew him right away so I saw them I saw him for his blessing in gold's gym because of that for the LA Fit Expo I was like oh my god hey you know like long time no see and then I met Scott so, and I so I met Welch, all yeah. of them, and I'm like, it just really accidentally. And then I met them again at LA, LA Fit Expo, and we all just connect, and you know, and now I am a muscle tech athlete. A muscle tech. So they they may I, I'm not familiar with their whole product line yet, but uh, what are some of the products that you're using right now in your prep for the Bikini International? Right now, I like the way the double chocolate rich way. Oh, okay. So I have my way of doing it, and I use I use the sweet heat um, pre workout. It's really good pump. Um, I'm starting to learn them. Actually, I started um, using them a month before I signed with them. Okay, just to learn the products, and they have like strong amino acids too. So the and, let's get the names right. So the, the is the protein Nitro Tech. Um. No. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's yeah. weight, and, and I'm uh, the amino acid they have, and muscle clear that's the amino pills that they have also. HMB, yeah, yeah. So, those are like my staple right now. And uh, the work the pre workout is called uh, uh, it's got a Q at the end. What's it called? Yeah, burn IQ, burn, burn yeah. IQ is the fat burner, uh, and the, the pre workout, name? it's it's a plus in the pre workout. Yeah, what's the name of that? I gotta find out. I love, I love that flavor. That have you tried the the sweet heat? No, sweet heat. That's the name of it. It's very spicy. I oh, love it. I shouldn't be forgetting everything like that. Okay, so have you tried their products? Uh, I I will be soon. Euphoric. That's the name of it. Euphoric with a Q. Oh yeah, yeah. that one. Okay. Yeah. They okay. have the they have the scoop too. Um, the snowball. It's they have different kind of flavors, and it the good thing about these products is like it's strong flavor. You taste them. It's good. Mm. It's yeah. not like chemical taste. So I like them. So I'm curious. You know, you were already in shape for the Olympia. So has it been sort of just maintaining your condition? You didn't go. Uh, you didn't go crazy and gain a bunch, have a bunch of cheat meals and get fat. I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> I mean, no. Has it just really been maintaining your Olympia condition, or did you let yourself gain a little bit of fat? Um, I don't. I, I can't say if I gained like a little fat, but um, a week after we went to Hawaii with my partner, that was one of my bucket lists. Okay. So I just checked to a bucket list, you know, yeah. win the title, go to uh, Hawaii. <laughs> So I I didn't train for five days. I did cardio, but I didn't diet for five days. Yeah. I probably gained a little fat, but it's nothing, you know, crazy. Yeah, I didn't think you were. You, you've, you've never been overweight in your life, I'm guessing, right? I mean, I did. 
I did when I my first ever bulk. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. for me, being 65 kilogram, because my usual weight off season is 53. Yeah. I get into 65 like pure food. I'm talking yeah. about pure food, like six um six meals with rice. 100 gram of fries with strawberry and you know like really bulk like a bodybuilder just to like gain some muscle i couldn't breathe <laughs> i couldn't i couldn't go in the stairs i remember because wow. that would be i'm trying to do the math that's about 100 a little over 130 pounds something like that that's yeah. really heavy for me especially for being five feet and i've never been that heavy in my life so yeah. that was a struggle but i had yeah. to do what i gotta do you know <laughs> I think everybody should bulk. Everybody, if, if you've never bulked up, you you never know if it's a good need, idea or a bad idea. You need one time at least in your prep. <laughs> yeah, it's like I tell all the I tell a lot of people who've never dieted. I said you should diet once. Eat yes. For a photo shoot or show, just once to see what's going on under there because you don't know. Yes. So, yes. So it's good to go bulk. You can you can look really like a god, you know, <laughs> like under there. You know, yeah. you will never know unless you try. <laughs> It's true. It's true. So, uh, wow, we're just we're doing this interview just two weeks away. Uh, the show is coming right up. But, man, you're obviously you're the Olympia champion. You are the heavy favorite. So we'll see what happens. Of course, these are you're up against other amazing women. But I think that's what just like with the men's Arnold Classic, it's so many fans, so much fantastic talent. That's what we love to see. That's a great competition. It's exciting. That's why. Get the pay-per-view, guys. If you can't make it to Columbus, get the pay-per-view for the Arnold Classic. Yes. Yeah. And you'll see Maureen and many other divisions. they got wellness, figure, uh, men's bodybuilding, and classic physique. It's going to be a great, great weekend. Yeah. I'm just curious, out of all the other divisions, what's your other favorite women's division and what's your favorite men's division to watch? Men's division, I love to watch the classic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And for women, I like to watch the wellness. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're, and actually, we're, fitness too. Okay. Fitness. Yeah, I, I forgot to say they have fitness, and they also have men's physique at the Arnold Sports Festival. It's don't interesting. Wanna, don't leave them out. It's a big, big weekend. So, looking forward to seeing you up there again, Maureen. Congratulations! I know you also got uh, you're with Muscle Tech, and you also signed with the Nebia, the activewear company, the clothing yes. company. Yeah. Yes. Why not get the Olympia champ on there? When your company, <laughs> program, why not? So it's uh, yeah. Congratulations on your win. I know it's a Thank little bit you. late, but uh, maybe I'll be congratulating you in a couple of weeks on another win. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> cool. Well, I thank you so much for taking the time, Maureen. Thank you for uh, having me. And congratulations on becoming part of Team Muscle thank Tech. You. Yeah, I'm sure they're, <laughs> they're very happy to have you. And uh, that's it. We'll see you very soon in Columbus. So thank thanks you. for watching, guys. Ron Line Report with your Olympia. Bikini champion, Maureen Blanquisco. We'll see you next time. <laughs> hey, did you like that video? Smash that like button, subscribe to MD, and please comment down below. Thanks for watching.